in a surprise move, Google has confirmed they will no longer be publicly sharing the work they are doing on Android. This move to privatize the dev work is an attempt to simplify the Android operating system development cycle, which has been sped up quite a lot due to the promise of two major updates per year. So going forward, development work on the Android code base will not be visible to the public and instead will be uploaded to a private Garrett repository where only engineers from Google will be able to access. It's certainly a big change from what we've been used to, which has allowed anyone to follow along with the development cycle of Android over the last 16 plus years. The development of Android is quite complex as it has a ton of moving parts but Google has been trying to keep things as organized as possible. This is done by the company maintaining two different development branches. One is the public AOSP branch, while the other is solely for internal development within Google and those with a Google mobile services license. For years, Google has kept certain parts of the Android operating system visible to the public. Components like the Bluetooth stack, virtualization framework, and other basic features have been developed through the public Garrett repo. So anyone and everyone had the ability to browse through those commits and see what is currently being worked on. Then we have the internal development branch, which handles things like the core Android framework and a number of other specific features. This forces Google to juggle two different repositories and it has caused them to take extra time merging the commits from those two different sources. And as you may suspect, a number of challenges are created by following this workflow. When these patches are merged from two different sources, all sorts of conflicts can crop up. As an example given by Mashal, they talk about a new feature that adds an accessibility setting that wasn't there before. This setting is supposed to go at the end of the menu, but the number of entries within that menu will vary depending on which build of Android you're using. So the complete open source version of AOSP will have fewer menu items than what's included in Google's internal branch. And this is just one example but you can see how merging hundreds of commits from two different sources can cause all sorts of issues like this. And this extra work is what pushed the Mountain View tech giant to simplify things and close up the public development of Android going forward. With that said, this does not mean that Android is shifting from an open source project to one that is closed source. Google is still promising that they will continue to publish the source code for new Android releases when they are available. And they'll continue to publish the source code for Android's Linux kernel fork as well, since they are required to due to the GPL v2 license and it is separate from AOSP. But we will see the public source code for various Android components much less frequently than we're used to. Instead of seeing these developed in real time, starting next week, all of Android's development will only take place in Google's internal branches. And it's actually how we will see most of the changes to the components of the operating system anyway. This consolidation will simply allow Google to save some resources merging the two. So that effort can be put into actually developing Android itself rather than duplicate grunt work. Some are worried that this could have an effect on platform developers who create ROMs for the community. However, this is unlikely to be true as most of these developers base their work on specific release branches of Android rather than following the live AOSP branch itself but there will be changes to how some people work within the community. Many people are happy to read through the commits as they are being published, 
so that they can get a hint about new features or changes that are coming to Android. And volunteer developers will also no longer be able to submit patches on the fly unless they have a GMS license. So while the optics may seem to be on the negative side of things, at least Android is not going closed source anytime soon. This new change is supposed to go into effect next week with some official news being released by Google in just a few days time. Since most people will not be affected by this at all, the average user is unlikely to notice any negative changes here. In fact, it's said to help speed up the development time of Android in general. So it will actually help to contribute to those faster updates that Google promised us last year. But I would like to hear what you all think about this news down in the comments section below. Are you happy to see that Google employees will have to do less grunt work merging those two branches? Or does this move worry you that it could be a slippery slope to Android going completely closed source. If you would, do not forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel too, as it really helps to motivate me to keep making new content here.